Hi, and welcome to my channel, Shades of Sage, where I share all things motherhood. My name's Hashima, I'm a doula, chef, and mama five. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. So for this video, I am going to vlog myself or record myself every single time that I breastfeed my baby in a 24 hour period. So it's currently like 4.45 <laughs> on Sunday. Um, and yeah, so I'm just bringing you all along on the journey with me. So this is my fifth child. I just gave birth to my fifth child in October of last year. This is my fifth time breastfeeding, exclusively breastfeeding. So I have never used any formula for my children and I exclusively breastfeed for that whole first year or so. Excuse me, you gonna eat? <laughs> she was eating, but now she's just looking at me. But um, but I want to do this vlog because I feel like it's really important to show just how often an exclusively breastfed baby actually eats <laughs> because there's so much misinformation out there. Um, so normally a baby is supposed to eat anywhere between um eight to twelve times a day if you're breastfeeding, you know, straight from her breast. So I don't use any bottles with my babies. I don't pump. I only did with my first because she was in the NICU. She is so nosy. Are you going to eat, mama? <laughs> She's just staring at me like, girl, what you doing? Why are you not feeding me? I'm trying to feed you. Come on, eat. Okay. She wants to have a little conversation. All right, all right. It's right here. Oh, boo, do, boo, do, boo, do, boo. Best feeding. It's lovely. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, yeah. So, um, I don't even remember what I was saying, but... uh. So I'm going to take you on this journey with me. Um, I feel like I've never counted before. I might have like way, way, way back in the day, like how often I actually did. Or, you know, like, you know, like in the hospital when they have, you know, like write down how long you fed your baby and from which breast and all of that stuff. Like I usually do that the first two days or so. And then I'm just like, I don't have time for all that. <laughs> so I literally just feed my babies whenever they're showing signs of being hungry. Um, so usually, yeah, at least every two to three hours. And Alma can go, she can go up to three hours without eating. But three hours is pretty much her max right now. She's almost um, five months old, right? Five? Yeah, she's almost five months old. Um, and she does still eat every, you know, through the night as well. So I just feel like I need to show this very realistic <laughs> um, breastfeeding journey, you know. She nurses usually for like, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. We don't always do both breasts and I don't always alternate either. I have a, a whole 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 bunch of breastfeeding videos on this channel because breastfeeding is one of my um it's one of my biggest passions so i have a lot of breastfeeding videos and tips and and all that stuff and support for breastfeeding moms out there but yeah i just really i just do it very intuitively like i just you know i really just follow her lead or follow my baby's lead so if she finishes off of this breast so last time she did have the other one i'm feeding from my left right now but if she finishes and she seems like she's still hungry, then I will switch to the next one. But if she doesn't seem hungry because I also overproduce as well, I just leave it at once. She usually, no, no, mm -mm. Yes, she has been trying to bite me <laughs> lately. Um, but she usually does get full off of one breast for the most part until my babies are like bigger. Because I do overproduce, so I have a lot usually um, in one breast, and that's really all they, they need. Now, in the beginning, though, like um, when they're new newborns, like the first six weeks or so, I do try to do both, bre both breasts for each feeding, but it's not really necessary for them because I need them to empty it, and a lot of times they don't empty it in one whole sitting or one whole feeding, so I will usually start um, the next feeding on the same breast just to make sure that it is emptied and then continue on the opposite one if they want some more so that's how i do it um and either way is fine uh you just kind of want to make sure that you're putting that you're putting your baby to both breasts like the equal amount or equal like equally throughout the day so you don't want them to favor one over the other or produce more than one over the other or you know like not empty one and then you're getting like backed up in the other one and all that stuff so hi <laughs> what? are you done how you done mama you done i don't always burp her either my last two kids kind of like to be burped after they're um done breastfeeding mm -hmm. so i do like you know just if she wants me to i will but it's it's not a big deal so you don't have to worry too much about burping your baby 
um, if you are, you know, breastfeeding straight from the breast, but obviously if you use a bottle, they might need help getting out that extra gas and stuff. She's almost done, because I can tell because she's playing around now. <laughs> so I don't know, how long was that? That wasn't even 10 minutes. That wasn't even 10 minutes. Yeah. So we're just gonna take you all along on our journey, our breastfeeding journey, breastfeeding day in the life, how often the baby breastfeeds in 24 hours. All right? Okay, until next time. Display for Hi. this party. My mom was really like the main mastermind behind this. We worked together to decide Ooh. the menu, make it go with the theme. Also, <laughs> what are you doing? Aesthetics. Wow. <laughs> and I think we nailed it. Like, I was really proud of our food display. Since it was Malibu Bobby, ah, everything was happy. sort of like, you not happy. You just be happy. Boardwalk inspired. So I tried to think, like, what foods would they have on a boardwalk or beach side? So we <laughs> so it's 5 20 and she is eating again because she really did not finish that last feed or it wasn't a full feed she was playing around so now she is eating eating so she can take her second nap or her afternoon nap <laughs> All right, Mom. I know. So, yes, that's what we're doing. It's 520. I think I said that. I think. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Um, It's about 745 now. And um, she took a short nap, maybe like an hour or so. And um, so she's been up for a while, but I was busy doing the dishes. So I couldn't feed her as soon as she got up from her nap. So I'm feeding her now. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like I said, she took a, a later nap. Um, and she'll probably be ready to go sleep, I'm thinking, around like like 9. Probably 9. 9.30. So, yeah. This is our next session. Okay. We're back. It is 9.04, 9.05. And she is eating now. She's ready. She's definitely ready to go to bed. So, I'm going to let her go to sleep. Well, eat. <laughs> I'm going to let her eat. And then put her upstairs in the bed so she can go to sleep. Um, I did switch sides this time, so she's on the right side. Come on, mama. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. There we go. There we go. That's it. So, yeah. So, I'm feeding her. I did not eat yet, so I am going to eat dinner, put her down, and then hopefully get a little bit of a long time. And then um, when I go upstairs, then I'll change her for the night. And then... She'll usually sleep about like the first, she'll sleep from now until like, I don't know, what, like 12? That's usually when I go to bed, kind of. Yeah, like 12. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see how many times she wakes up tonight to eat. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Okay, so it's 11.42 and I'm feeding Alma cause she is awake. Um, I normally use my ring light, but I mean, <laughs> I normally use the flashlight on my cell phone just to give me a little bit of light when I'm breastfeeding her, but um, I can't do that and record at the same time. So I'm using my ring light and I hope it's not too bright. It's kind of like the same, I feel like the same level of brightness, I guess. I don't know. But anywho, I'm feeding her now and then I'm going to go to sleep and then <sighs> hopefully she'll sleep for like three hours and then. I can feed her again at like 3 o'clock or 3, 3 a.m. So we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I changed her before she went to sleep the previous time. So I changed her at like 9. Um, and yeah, she's a, she's awake enough to look at me, but she's not. She'll go right to sleep as soon as she's done. And then I'll go to sleep. And then, uh, yeah, halfway through our, our breastfeeding vlog. Almost. <laughs> Anywho, good night. <laughs> so it is 4.30 a.m. And this is her first middle of the night feeding. Okay, it's 4.50. 4.50. Mama um, just finished eating, so she's back to sleep. Um, I don't have to usually change her at this stage in the middle of the night anymore. So I'll change her in the morning when she wakes up for her next feeding. And I am going back to sleep. <laughs>
a good night. Hello. So it's now 8 o'clock. I think 8.01, 8.02. And Alma is eating for the first time today. Or this morning. Hi, baby. And that's Asa over there in the crib giving us a little story. He likes to wake us up with some story or a song. I know. At this point, I usually change her, just play with her a little bit, talk to her, give her some kisses. And then she usually doesn't get up early or at this time right now with me and the other kids. What? So she'll go back to sleep for like another two hours, two or three hours. And then she'll join us uh, later on. So we'll see how it goes as how it normally goes, but we'll see. Hello, officially for this morning. Hold on, let's get the little baby on here. If I continue talking. Come on, baby. Come on, mama, mama. <laughs> okay, so it is 10 o'clock. Exactly, I think. Yeah, about 10.02. <laughs> little Missy did not go back and take a nap today. Like I left her up there and gave her some space and opportunity to go back to sleep. And she was a little bit tired. But when I went to check on her, she was still awake. Guys, so, we should put so I just brought her down here. Um, no, so that was at like what? Uh, no. Nine? So yeah. So so I went to go get her. I brought her down here, and the kids were reading, and you know they read with her. And I was able to clean up and all that stuff, get myself dressed, and then make myself breakfast. So I just finished eating myself. Um, and she waited patiently, but she was getting to that point where she was like ready to eat again. So. I'm feeding her now, which means that she'll probably end up falling asleep now. Yeah. So she'll probably end up going to sleep now and then waking up maybe in an hour or two. So she won't be on the same nap schedule as the other two little ones. But um, it should still all work out overall, hopefully, so that I am still able to take a nap with her when she's ready to go back to sleep. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Yay. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to say, I am back on the right side. I meant to say which side I was feeding from each time, but basically, yeah, I just alternate. So this morning, I fed from the left, and now, actually, I finished the feeding on the left because she had previously started it, but she didn't finish. So I started that one on the left, and that was fine for that uh, at 8 o'clock. And now she's feeding from the right on the, at now at 10. So she'll probably finish and empty this whole one and then, you know, take a nap. All right, until the next time. <laughs> All right, it's 12 o'clock now and Alma's eating again. She had a quick one like hour nap. So I think she's ready for her real, real nap. This is gonna be like her longest nap of the day. So I'm feeding her now. Okay, thank you. No, not not right now. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, I'm on the left side again. But hopefully, fingers crossed, she can take her nap with everybody else. So I can get a little nap in too. And that would be great. All right, bye-bye. So it's 2.11. And I'm just doing a little nap time dream feed. <laughs> so she usually will eat. So she's going to eat right now. And then go back to her nap. And we're back on the right side again. Okay, let me be quiet so she can eat and go back to sleep. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. Good job. I bring you the bell. Mm, thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead.
Okay, so it is 5.05 .05 and we are officially at the end of this video. So, yes, she just woke up from her nap. I kind of woke her up, <laughs> so but she's, she's awake. awake. So, yeah, her afternoon nap is definitely her longest nap, um, but she ate in between it. She still ate in between that nap um, and now she's eating and she'll probably be up until bedtime. So, yeah, so that is how often a breastfed baby eats in a 24-hour period. So it's way more than they be trying to say it is. <laughs> but you know, it's okay. I love feeding on demand. It's it's like the best thing ever. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you're also out there and you are exclusively breastfeeding or exclusively, exclusively pumping, it is a lot of work. And shout out to you for breastfeeding your babe. So that's all that I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Remember to let your story be your power and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. That's better. Hi, baby. Hi, baby.